Hello everyone, we are group 3 and we will discuss about permutation with identical objects and circular permutation. Permutation with identical objects is where the number of permutation of n things, where a things are alike, b things are alike, and c things are alike, and so forth, is b equals n factorial over a factorial times b factorial times c factorial. An example is, in how many ways can 9 chairs be arranged in a row if there are 4 blue chairs, 3 red chairs, and 2 yellow chairs? So we have 9 chairs, 4 blue chairs, 3 red chairs, and 2 yellow chairs. Use the formula where n is 9, a is 4, B is 3, and C is 2. Count down from 9 until 4 factorial and cancel out both 4 factorial and solve. 15,120 divided by 12 is 1,260. So the answer is 1,260 ways. Hello, I am Marilyn Jaime, and here's an example of permutation with identical objects. Example, how many ways to order the letters of Mississippi? There are 11 letters, but 4 I's, 4 S, 2 P's. There are 11 factorial over 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial. equals 34,650 ways. Hi, I am Annalise Trisha J. Amarante, and here are the examples of permutation with identical objects. Find the number of arrangements in a row of the letter of the following words. Number one, Twitter. Number two, Google. For the solution in number one, there are a total of seven letters to be arranged in a row of which three T's are identical and the remaining different. The total number of permutations will be 7 factorial over 3 factorial or 840. For the solution in number 2, in this case, there are a total of six letters which two G's are identical and two O's are identical. The number of arrangement will be 6 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial, or 180. Circular permutations is the number of ways to arrange n distinct objects along a fixed circle is p equals the quantity of n minus 1 factorial. How many ways can we arrange four people in a circle? As a reminder, let's arrange them in a row. The first person has four ways, since there are four vacant spots. The second person has three ways. After the first spot is taken, three spots are vacant. The third person has two ways, since only two spots are vacant and the same process on the fourth person. The formula for this is p equals n factorial, where n is the total number of objects. 4 factorial is equal to 24, therefore we can arrange 4 people in a row in 24 ways. Now in a circle. Person 1 only has one way. Because no matter where the first person sits, the permutation is not affected. Therefore, person 1 can sit in any vacant seat. Let's say person 1 sat in the left seat. Person 2 has 3 ways. After the first seat is taken, 3 other seats make a difference. Which means if person 2 sits at the right seat, in this perspective, the left and right seats are vacant while the front is taken. But if person 2 sits at the bottom seat, its front and right seat are vacant while the left seat is taken.
and it also has a different perspective if person 2 sits at the top seat and that is why person 2 has three ways let's say person 2 sat on the bottom seat person 3 has two ways it follows the same process we just did if person 3 sits at the top seat person 4 only has one way there's no other choice this is basically the process of circular permutation and the formula used for this is p equals the quantity of n minus 1 factorial where n is 4 so 4 minus 1 is 3 factorial and 3 factorial is 6 therefore we can arrange 4 people in a circle in 6 ways in how many ways can 4 couples be seated at a round table if the men and women want to sit alternately suppose a man sat down first he will only have one seat of choice because there are eight seats and he's only one man therefore he can sit in whatever he wants because again no matter where the first person sits the permutation is not affected so he can sit in the bottom seat the left seat top right seat whatever for now let's say man one sat on the top seat if man one sat on the top seat the chair next to it must belong to woman, and there are four choices. Since men and women have to sit alternately, woman one's choice of seat cannot be next to each other, so she has four choices. Let's say woman one sat on the top right seat. The next chair belongs to a man, so there are three choices left. If man 2 sat at the right seat, the chair next to it must belong to a woman. And the process goes on and on until all the seats are taken by men and women alternately. It is easier to do it as a list as shown. Start from man 1, woman 1, man 2, woman 2, and continue until all the men and women are listed. Multiply the choices and you will get 144 ways. So, four couples, alternating men and women, can be seated at a round table in 144 ways.